This is my Diatone Blade 150. I picked this up a while back and this thing has been awesome. The only thing I keep doing is I keep breaking propellers and instead of cu cutting the correct propellers, I just use the colored propellers that I have, which is why I have one black one. Anyway, I got so excited about this one. I actually picked up two more of them before they were even available and had, and I guess got them in today. These were pre-ordered ones. Now these are a little bit different because they have the separate power distribution board, whereas this one had it all built in. Well, the only problem I have with this Diatone Blade 150 is that it's kind of slow in the straightaways, especially against the ZMR 250 that has six inch propellers. These three inch propellers just can't pull the quad fast enough to compete with the ZMR 250. Now, if you're flying inside a little shorter area with a lot of turns and a lot of um, U-turns and things like that, this will compete and it will do very well, but it won't compete in straightaway runs against the ZMR 250. Well, instead of giving up on this, I actually purchased a um, Diatone ET200. This one is supposed to be able to run uh, five inch propellers without being uh, modified. So I'm gonna put this together and we'll find out for sure and I'll get some weights off of it. I'm missing a little bit of the sticker here because I pulled the other sticker off so I could read underneath it. But anyway, this is the ET200. We'll see how this looks and how it sizes up compared to the uh, Blade 150. Included with the ET200 is the top plate here, the lower plate, four arms and a power distribution board. And you also have all these accessories. And by accessories, I'm referring to these little nylon nuts, the nylon screws, the little spacers that, to separate your power distribution board from your carbon fiber frame. And it has these spacers, and these spacers look like they're three millimeters uh, size instead of the two millimeter size like on a Diatone Blade 150. Also has a few more nylon spacers and a lot of screws. And of course, they also include their business card for the ET 200 millimeter series. And it has some, stati some statistics there on the bottom. You can read them if you want. Let's go ahead and get some measurements on these plates and we'll see how far they're, how thick they're coming out. These feel like one millimeter. Yep, 1.02 millimeters for the top plate. And the bottom plate is coming in at probably about the same, 1.04 millimeters. And these arms, they're coming in at 2.06, they're probably all 2.0, that's probably good enough. Well, let's get a close look at this. This, this uh, carbon fiber here, it has, it looks like it has very good edges on it, like it was cut very well. The sides don't seem like they're sharp, they don't feel like they need to be sanded down in any way, so that'll be very good. And if you uh, have the um, other quad, the, the Blade 150, you'll notice this little cut pattern is a little different. And they also have these holes out here where you can actually mount your uh, your uh, landing gear on there if, and so you don't have to land on your ESCs if you're mounting the ESCs on the bottom. Here's a close up of the power distribution board. It looks like this is your five volt output back here and your five volt output over here. And the rest of them look like they're going to be your uh, ESC connections. And from the looks of it, this is probably where your power plugs in right back here on these two. And then these two would be for your ESCs to come in. And I think you be, will be able to one, uh, run the wire up through the frame and then into here. And that way when you're pulling on the wires, you're actually pulling on the wires instead of on these connections themselves. So let's go ahead and get a real quick measurement on how thick this is. 0.53 millimeters. This is the thinnest thing I've ever seen come from Diatone. So I have all the pieces laid out and I got all the pieces out of the package. The first thing I went to do was to put one screw through the bottom plate and then attach the first um, little spacer here. Now, like I said, like I said earlier, these spacers are three millimeter spacers, but I got two millimeter screws included in the package. So it just slips right, right down in there, just fine, just like that. So I'm not sure how you're supposed to use three millimeter spacers with two millimeter screws. That might be a small problem. Now, I think I have some three millimeter screws that are extra from other projects I've had, so I might see if I can find those, and if I can, I can get this put together. Good news, I have screws. I have uh, three millimeter black ones here, and I got three millimeter silver ones over here, so I should be good to go for this build, even though it included two millimeter screws. So let's get this build finished. So here it is assembled. The screws that I had were too short to uh, mount these rear poles on, because back here in the back, I have the bottom plate, followed by two of these little red washers, followed by the power distribution board, followed by the arm. And so my little short screws weren't quite long enough. So actually back here in the back, I used some 12 millimeter screws. They go up quite a ways into the uh, post, but they're 
with a little bit of Loctite, they're never gonna come out. Uh, for this post up here in the front at the end of this arm, I used a 10 millimeter, um, 10 millimeter screw right there, the black one, and it pokes up just a little bit up there. And for this one, I just used my uh, little shorties that I already had. I didn't, and I, you can see in here in the middle, I didn't put any spacers in there. I don't know if I really needed to or not. I think it's really, the spacers are just to keep the power distribution board off of the carbon fiber, I guess. Uh, I'm not real sure. But anyway, I might put some in there later. But the only problem was they were doubling up with these. So I guess I could cut them off a little bit so they wouldn't double up and make, you know, four layer stick right here. Uh, anyway, the nice thing about this is it's all together and look at this up here You don't have to put a fourth screw in you only need three because there's no hole here for the uh, last post Why I don't know probably just a little bit of quality control Maybe the first batch is like that and the second batch will come out correct So we'll go and get some measurements on this so we can uh, so you can tell if your stuff is gonna fit First thing we'll do is we'll measure the inside area between these plates because that's one thing I was wondering about on how stuff was going to fit. And if I can get it in here, there we go. It's about 26 millimeters here with the power, and that includes the power distribution board. If you're thinking about what camera you're going to use, if you want it to fit under these plates, it's going to have to be less than 25. And if you're going to if you're going to get a small one, it's going to go inside here and up here on the, on the very back of this. It's about 24. Oops, let me get it up here right the right way. There we go about 23 millimeters wide and that's this right here out here in the front it's a little bit wider it's maybe about 27 28 mil 27 28 millimeters there in the front so real quick i had a lot of extra pieces up here so i'm not really sure what you're supposed to do with all these nylon nuts here unless you put your flight board on top and use the nuts here to hold it down that's probably what those are for but i'm not really sure what these screws are for and i'm not really sure what well, I know what these are. They're the wrong size, but it did give you extra posts and an extra nylon thing in case you snap it, which is, which is good. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this weighed. This is an all-up weight minus one screw. Comes out to be about 50.1 grams, and that's not too bad for a quadcopter this size. When I was primarily flying the Blade 150, I needed some four-inch propellers, so I ordered <laughs> quite a few of these, and uh, it seems like every order I went ahead and I threw in about 10 more packs. So I got a lot of these 40 45s right here 40 45s but on this quad here's a five inch propeller and i wanted to see if it was going to fit and look at that lo and behold there's there it is centered on the motor hole and it has plenty of space clearing the um post even if you raise that up all the way to the uh, top post it's still going to clear the frame by more than enough so good this thing will be able to run five inch propellers that's what i was really hoping for because i got a bunch of these 50 45s if it'll focus anyway they're five by 45s so that's what i'm planning on running on this the four inch propellers would probably work but it just wouldn't have as much lift you know being four inch propellers also on this build i'm going to be using the 1806 dys um, 2300 kV motors and I got all black ones this time these are the first black ones I've purchased and I wanted to have black because I'm planning on having most of this black if I can so they're the DYS BE 1806 2300 kV motors and these should fit on the arms just fine the, the pattern is the uh, right size for these motors anyway you can't see the holes but trust me it lines up fine so here's the Blade 150, here's the Diatone uh, ET200, and if we line these up, you can tell the arms are significantly longer than the uh, Blade 150s. And also, back here in the back, they stick back a lot fur further than that, so you can have your 5-inch uh, propellers not hit each other from front to back. Here's another shot of the two frames beside each other, the 150 and the 200. Here's my ZMR250 in all its glory with three broken propellers from yesterday's flying uh, compared to the Diatone ET200 as well. So here it is, the Diatone ET200. And you can even see the word Diatone through the bottom. And like I was saying before, when you run your power wires in here to the two little solder pads, it'd be best if you ran them up through these holes and then into there. That way when you pull on the wires, it's pulling on the wires itself and not on the little pads, you know, trying to rip them loose off the power distribution board. Anyway, ET200 dot from Diatone. If you have any questions about it, leave it in the comments. Hopefully, if you have one of these ordered, you will get your fourth hole on top and the right size screws. Anyway, thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll try to answer them as best I can. Thanks for watching.